<laughs> We're going to boot daddy. Yeehaw. How you doing, Larry? <laughs> I'm just thinking about what guy would think that Nadine's a guy. What, what? Somebody says she looks like a guy. I just don't see that, Nadine. Do you? Thank you, Randy. You, know, you, you look very, <laughs> Randy, very beautiful. You, you're... But your vision was a lot better before I took you off the hill. That's right. <laughs> That's right. There's no reason to take the dress off. Yeah. I can't see her anyway, so what the heck? <laughs> you know, that's true. We're coming up to two years. We just passed two years, didn't we, Larry? Yep. Wow, yep. what a deal. Anyway, <laughs> talk about boots here just for a second or two. Everybody, everybody's been hitting this up for the last five years or so about American-made product. Right. Well, guess what? All three of these boots... Tony Lama, Justin, and Nakona, a big shout out to Greg Crouchley, the new president. All three of these boots are American made. Great. That's right. So we're getting much more American made product all the time. We're probably 30% American made at least in footwear. And so I think it's going to come on and get stronger. I think people are asking for it. And yep. it Good quality, and it's actually made in Texas Absolutely. and Missouri. And Missouri. So, Randy. Paul, talk about it a second. Well, first of all, I got to start this in the opposite of Gus. Old, old, old. Yes. <laughs> 1879, oh, 1911, and 1925 is when these companies actually started making boots. Wow. So that's, a, that's old, old, old. And we're doing a great American-made giveaway at bootdaddy.com. So you go there, register to win, and you'll get a choice of a Justin, Tony Lama, or Nakona boot that we will send you from bootdaddy.com. And we'll have all American made ones up on all it. All of so them you can are choose. on sale. It's not have to be these three, just no, any one that you no, want. No. Yeah, and, and he's right. We got a factory in Cassville, Missouri, Carthage, Missouri, El Paso, Texas. You know, there it's uh it's there's a lot of history in, in the boot companies uh that we deal with. Right. And we feel very fortunate to be able to be partners with them. And they've been great people to deal with. Absolutely. So Colin. Yeah, absolutely, Larry. And you know, we've got these boots and there's a whole lot more stuff. You know, there's boots, there's hats, there's there's saddles, there's jeans, there's ladies' wear, there's children's wear. There's all sorts of things inside this building here that you just really can't see from looking at it here. But uh, we want to. It's fun to, to talk to all the diner fans that come in, and they always say, "How we didn't know th that you had this much stuff in the store." And and so it's just great to come on and talk to everybody. So be part of the Boot Daddy Family Gallery. Come visit us at PFI. Home of Boot Daddy on Highway 65 in Springfield, Missouri. Did, you take, did you take a picture of that panel truck when it was up there? You know, we did. We did. And Lots. we put it up on the uh, family album. Oh, yeah. And Good. it's one of the coolest trucks. I mean, Max did a heck of a job. It was kind of rainy that, that day, oh, but yeah. I tell you what, people came out and enjoyed it. And of course, it went down to Starlight. Yep. We, had it in, we parked it inside, didn't we, Max? And we forgot to drain the fuel in it, but that's okay. It made it for the week. No blow-ups, no explosions. And, of course, you know, maybe we can get him come back when you're back in September, Larry. You're, you know, uh, you guys back down there, 18th, 22nd. Out. Like, sure. see, Max, you know I can't believe how great he cleaned up, too. Isn't that something? Isn't yeah. it? He's got to come to town more often. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Larry.